Hey, Bill here with 30 Minute Wood Shop. Thanks for joining me. Today, I want to show you how to make one of these really cool pocket bottle openers. Super easy, simple to make. Use scrap wood. You go out and buy some of these uh, stamped steel bottle openers. They're basically flat steel, easy to get a hold of. They're about two, I think two bucks a piece. I'll put a link in the bottom to these things. Uh, very easy to use. I actually put my name on these. They make great Christmas gifts. There you go. Now I don't advocate drinking while you're working, so I'll put that aside until uh, I get done with this project. But hey, easy to do. There's links in the bottom to some of the tools that they use. There's also a link to, uh, to my uh, blog, which will give you a, a sketch for this thing. It's not much, like I said, uh, but easy to do. So, hey. First step in making this pocket bottle opener, I got a piece of, piece of maple here chucked up, uh, held down. I have an inch and five eighths uh, Forstner bit. This is just a skosh over an inch and five eighths. Uh, it's probably metric. I didn't check it, but I'm sure there's a metric size. It is exactly. So what I'll do is I'll put that in first. It's just going to be enough to recess the piece, so about a sixteenth of an inch, and then I'll come back and drill a hole um, around it using a uh, using a saw bit. Okay, hole bit, and then I'm going to come back and put in two small holes, two smaller holes for bottle cap clearance. So let's make some noise. So there we go. Slightly uh, subsurface, but that's okay. I got some sanding to do, so it should work out just perfect. Okay, without changing location of my piece, I want to use this hole saw. Okay, now all we're going to do is come down, cut about three quarters of the way, two thirds, three quarters of the way through this, and then uh, I'm going to come back and put in two holes for the clearance. So. I got a 25 millimeter bit in here. Looks like it just clears the hole, so it should be good. I'm not depending totally on the screws. I'm also going to epoxy this thing in. So it isn't coming out regardless, uh, but I'll put a 25 millimeter, millimeter clearance hole to a depth of about a, maybe half the bit. So let's get started. Okay, looking really good. Good reason to not actually go all the way through and cut it out in the last little bit with a bandsaw because getting this thing out of this hole saw is really tough. So if I do it again, if I do it again, I'm going to use a bandsaw. But there we go. Now I have to do is some sanding, some edge trim, and it should be pretty good. Nice little little uh, bottle opener you can throw in your pocket, carry in a wear backpack. Pretty slick. So let's go about finishing it. Okay. I've got all my uh, blanks done. All I've done here is uh, put my brand on here. I sanded all these edges, sanded the top with uh, three, uh, actually with a 220, then 320 to get it all nice and smooth. And uh, Basically, what I'm doing now is I want to install these uh, steel opener pieces. So the easy way to do that is just center it the way you want it. And I want the lip up. That way it's consistent whenever someone grabs it. Take my uh, ice pick. And mark it. Now, I could use, or have been using, this uh, pin vise. So all this is, you put a drill, a very small drill in here, and this thing rotates on top, and you just sit there and rotate it back and forth until you make a little hole. Pretty slow way of doing things. It's great if you're doing uh, PC boards, though. That's what I use it for. 
Um, well, actually, what I have is this Craftsman rotary tool, battery operated, using a VersaPak battery. So this works out really well. Though. Here we go. So two tiny little holes, just big enough for these tiny little screws. Next step is to go ahead and mix some two-part epoxy. I'm using JB Weld uh, two-part epoxy, five-minute epoxy. Um, put that in here, and then I'll epoxy these down. And then I'll screw them in place. Now the only reason I'm really screwing these in place, one is to fill the hole, doesn't look strange, but really it's to hold these things together while the epoxy sets and also to position it. So super simple, we'll get that done and uh, back in Okay, JB Weld 2 part epoxy. I'm going to be mixing this up in small amounts because uh, it doesn't have that much work time. I want to make sure that I uh, So all I'm going to do here is paste it around the inside of this thing. The idea is to get enough of it in here to, to uh, glue this thing down, but not so much that it uh, slops everywhere. By the way, you can't clean this stuff up a little bit of, uh, while well, it's still wet it is, uh, a little bit of acetone. And it doesn't matter if you get much in the hole here because basically that's just clearance hole for the, for the bottle. You can't really get that much in there. Make sure I got this lined up the way I want it. You can see that uh, that drill left plenty of bite for the screw. Drop in a couple of screws. This is a number one Phillips, by the way. In case that's of any interest. But hardly anything. If we had much more, much more squeeze out than this, though, I'd be getting acetone out, which I'm going to get out anyway for the rest of them, just in case. But uh, there you go. All right, now last thing I gotta do is I wanna hit this thing with, uh, with some wax, just some paste wax. And once I get the paste wax, uh, this, this uh, epoxy dries, do the paste wax and should be ready to go. So let's do the rest of them. Okay, these turned out really, really well. I'm really happy with them. So why don't we try and open a beer? So I had a lot of fun with this project. Really easy, really fast. You know, something you could do in a little bit of time with a small amount of wood. If you have scrap laying around, I use maple. Um, but let's give this thing a try. So I've got some, uh, what is this? Uh, Bell's Cherry Stout, made in Comstock, Michigan. So I'm always a dark beer person. But uh, let's give it a shot here. Whoa, nice and easy. I like that. You know, craft beers, of course, don't have easy open tops, so I need to have this around a lot because I drink a lot of craft beers. Fish in your pocket very easy. Let's try the beer. Wow, I like the 
cherry, the cherry stout is really nice. So, so look at that. Very easy to make, very quick. Um, there's a sketch for it in my blog. Click on the blog link down at the bottom. Run out and take a look at that. A um, couple things I didn't show you. I didn't show you how to sand. I figure you guys know how to sand. Um, I also didn't show you how to do a round over on this edge. Uh, I used a DeWalt compact router with an eighth inch router bit. Don't go bigger than that eighth inch. Um, there's just not enough material here to, to uh, secure this. Okay. So the eighth inch works out really well. Plus it gives it a really nice feel. So you're good. I did run through the grits, by the way, from 100 to 320. Uh, if you know me from previous uh, videos, I'm basically a 220 person. I don't do the, anything more than that. But this is in my palm or in my pocket regularly, so I wanted that really nice, smooth finish. Okay, I did finish it with a little BLO, uh, and then wax, and it's good to go. So hopefully you got something out of this. Like I said, click on my blog link. You can get the uh, sketch. Take a look at that. Also, there's links down there for some of the tools I use, the uh, forger bits, so you can get the concentric holes, and then, of course, the uh, saw bit, so you can cut the whole thing out. Take a look at those, see if you're interested in them. Uh, I'll actually throw something there for the uh, DeWalt, too, because that uh, DeWalt compact router is a pretty nice little, little gig, especially if you get the, uh, if you get the plunge router uh, kit with it. On that note, hey, the beer is good. This works really well. Hope you got something out of this. If you did, do me a favor and hit like and subscribe. That really helps me out. And hey, until next time, hey, good making.